now time for the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show brings you famous celebrities and amazing people from all over the world. Listen online at themikewagnershow.com and on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And watch the interview on YouTube. So sit back and relax and enjoy the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking for a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on iTunes, Apple, and Google Play. Also on the YouTube channel on the Mike Wagner Show. Make sure you subscribe and take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. We're here with a wonderful woman from the Boston area, founder of Create right now.com that is create right now.com and award-winning author of journaling power how to create the happy healthy life you want to live and heal yourself with journaling power and also uh, an upcoming um work called journaling for the health of it she'll be talking about that she's also a recording artist and uh, got to hear some of the music which is just amazing but first uh before you start writing things down, let's put on our thinking caps and give a warm Boston welcome for a wonderful journalist who likes to write things down just for the health of it, ladies and gentlemen, from Boston, Mass., Mary, Mary McCarthy. Mary, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Mike. Thanks for having me on this show. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I thank you for the opportunity. It's our pleasure, and that's what we do best. You're the founder of CreateRightNow.com, and you're the award-winning author of Journaling Power, How to Create the Happy, Healthy Life You Want to Live and Heal Yourself with Journaling Power. And you're also a recording artist, and um, you also have a thing called Journaling for the Health of It. We'll uh, talk more about that. And first of all, before we get into all that, uh, tell us how you got started. Uh, I got started in journaling uh, for basic physical therapy reasons. Uh, about 20-some years ago, uh, I had an MS exacerbation where I lost uh, feeling on the right side of my body, and I needed a procedure to, to teach myself how to write with my left hand. Mm. Uh, so I found, uh, of course, synchronicity, universe, whatever you want to call it, introduced me to a, a young lady who introduced me to Morning Pages by Julia Cameron. She was the award-winning author of the book The Artist Pay, uh, excuse me, The Artist's Way. And in it, uh, her procedure was called morning pagers, mm. uh, morning pages, excuse me. Uh, and each morning, first thing is close to the time that you wake up, you just sit down and you put pen to page and just write, write, write three pages of whatever stream of consciousness, free writing, whatever you want to call it. And I thought, wow, that sounds like a really uh, good, easy way to, to learn how to write with my my left hand, so I, I embarked on on that, and within a matter of of, of days, weeks, I became left-handed. Well, in the the process, I started remembering all these things from my childhood. I mean, I know I had a a childhood, but you know how I think we uh, so well repress and all our, our things that you know, especially bad experiences we've had as as children. So I just didn't uh, I. I the morning pages were allowing me access to my subconscious and to my uh, to my my being, if you will. Uh, and uh, and in the process, I uh, learned or remembered, and my mother was uh, still with us, and she confirmed this that I originally was left-handed, but the nuns at St. Bernard's School in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, changed me because good little Catholic girls don't write with their left hand, you know. So, <laughs> I've, so. I've, I've heard that adage before, too, and surprisingly, they didn't strike you with a stick or um or make you say, you're going to purgatory if you don't, if you don't write right-handed. <laughs> well, they, uh, they did, they got uh, 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 into the corporal punishment uh, deal with boys. They didn't do that to girls. They just, you know, gave them a lot of uh, verbal abuse and all that type of thing. So it's just, uh, like I say, so I, so I got into this journaling. I thought, 
wow, this was uh, way, way more than uh, just physical therapies, emotional therapy, spiritual therapy. And it's like, and so I just you know, kept doing it and kept doing it. And uh, I started hearing rhymes. I started writing poetry. I started all, all kinds of things. And I, I, one of the things uh, I remembered was how much I loved singing uh, and, and music. And of course, I remembered one of the things from my childhood that I tried out for the uh, choral group and they didn't want me because I was tone deaf. I mean, you tell a, a fourth grader that they, that they don't want you in, to, in the singing group because they're tone deaf. I mean, aren't teachers supposed to be there to teach children how to, how to do things? So and, it's just a, Exactly. It's one of those things that they say you're tone deaf. You're like, what? But uh, I do totally understand what you're saying as well, too. And um, what was the one moment that got you uh, in, into singing at first before you, you tried to join the choir? I, I just think I always loved uh, music. I think it's not, my parents just always uh, got, got me into because my parents grew up in the you know, the the days of the uh, American songbook. So my mother was always singing, and uh, my father was very much into classical music. So I just always loved uh, uh, music, and, and and I asked for piano lessons. How can you believe that? <laughs> uh, so, uh, so it was just one of these things that. Again, but I think just when you have that type of an experience, you just stuff it down and uh, and all that type of thing, and and that's where I I come up come up with my my tagline for my company and and, and journaling is like journaling really helps us heal the issues in our tissues because we're carrying all these uh, experiences, memories, everything in us, you know, be it subconscious, be it you know, whatever part of us. And it's just like journaling helps us bring all this stuff out and say, oh, my goodness, no wonder you, know, you, ha- you have these, these pains and anxieties or thoughts or whatever. When all these things that, that, were ha- that happened to you as a, as a child, it's just like, you know, you, you had no one to talk to or no one to, to help and, and counsel you as a, <laughs> as a child. And, and it's just like, so you have to stuff it someplace. So you just stuffed it in, in, in way, way deep down inside. And that's what I was, I found very early on with, with journaling. It's just like, oh my goodness, it's way, way more than physical therapy. It's helping me access my mind, my body, my soul. That is amazing, too. We'll talk about journaling for the health of it, uh, what it is, what what can you do, how much time and everything. And then we'll get to um, you being a little bit of a recording artist. It's on your website. Listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today at 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Radio Public, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, and Apple. You can also take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device and subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on YouTube as well. We're here with author Mary McCarthy, the founder of CreateRightNow.com and the award-winning author of Journaling Power, How to Create the Happy, Healthy Life You Want to Live and Heal Yourself with Journaling Power, also recording artist. We'll talk about her music in, um, in a few moments here. But first of all, she talks a lot about journaling for the health of it and is trying to make it a very common buzzword in America. And um, once again, let's just uh, put an emphasis on it. In your words, what is journaling for the health of it about? Journaling for the health of it is, uh, well, I have to back up a little bit. It came up one day in my morning pages writing. I mean, and that's one of the fantastic things about doing journaling. All kinds of, I get all kinds of universal messages. And that's how the name for my company came up, Create Right Now. So I guess, and that was at the point where I really wanted to share the true experiences and true benefits of, of journaling with the, with the uh, world. So that's where I got the whole thing, journaling for the health of it. And now in the last year or so, I've overhauled my 
website, and I've really focused on the fact that uh, what Create Right Now is all about is therapeutic journaling. And I thought, good time to uh, put a tagline on it and uh, codify that my service is journaling for the health of it. And it's uh, a practice, a self-care, uh, self-empowerment, self-healing, you, you name it, a practice where you put the pen to the page uh, every single day. That's the, the, the two uh, only requirements of it, that it, it's pen to page only and daily. And you uh, use it to uh, find out who lives in your body and uh, create the the life that you want to live, not the life that you've been uh, reacting to, or it just really helps, journaling helps you live your life from the inside out as opposed to a reaction to other people or outside stimuli. So it's really journaling for the health of it helps you mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually understand who truly lives in your body and real realize what kind of power, strength, intelligence, talents you have and go out and take the world on fire. That is amazing, too. And what can journaling for the health of it address in life? Uh, it can address anything. It's uh, if you have a, uh, shall I say, ch- challenge, challenging relationship with your, your mother-in-law or the cranky old man next door or whatever, it can help you process and understand what's going on and help you design an action plan for uh, dealing with and uh, changing, solidifying, helping uh, that relationship. So it can help you with uh, people problems. It can help you with financial challenges. It can help you with, uh, well, what am I going to be when I grow up, your career issues. There's nothing that in my years of experience I've come across that journaling cannot help you with or journaling for the health of it cannot help you with it's a it is there your uh, 24-7 therapist tool friend to help you through everything that's amazing too and how much time does it take for it to work uh it, it depends on your your dedication uh and if, if you do it uh get it make it a part of your your daily health routine, like brushing your teeth and uh, eating right and all those types of things. It, it takes oh, like a couple of weeks before you, you get into realizing that, oh, wow, there's way more to me than I ever possibly imagined. So it, it's just it really uh, gets back to dedicating and committing yourself to uh, doing this every day and getting into a routine and then uh, the universe and whatever will uh, take care of you. And, and uh, as, as uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson always says, once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. So I think the, the key is to dedicate it. And, and it's like with, with me, it's, it was just only a, a matter of weeks before I came uh, became left-handed. And, you know, a, a couple of days I started hearing uh, – uh, rhymes and writing more poetry. Uh, so it's just it, it, it's the key, as I said uh, before, is just, just to commit yourself t- to doing it every day. What it, And it doesn't matter the amount or uh, the time or, or whatever. It's, it's just you're, you're giving your message to your, excuse me, <clears throat> to your being that you're number one in, in your life. And that's just like, there's, it's the, new exciting experience that you're gonna you're putting number yourself as number one in your life that is change that is amazing too and how does one know if it will work like say Uh, like say if i were to try it how would i know if uh journaling for the health of it will work for me uh you will you will feel it physically you will um you'll you'll just uh, get a sense you'll you'll find your intuition is activated you'll have really good positive feelings of 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 the of this energetic physical uh uh, and emotional level so that's uh so you'll you'll know uh, pretty quickly uh whether it's going to be for you 
Mm -hmm. That's amazing, too. We'll talk about your uh, book as well, too, um, Journaling Power, How to Create the Happy, Healthy Life You Want to Live and Heal Yourself with Journaling Power. We'll get to that in just a minute. Listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on iTunes, Apple, and Google Play. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. You can also download and listen on Radio Public and Anchor FM. And you can also subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on YouTube. And once again, take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. We're here with author Mary McCarthy, the founder of CreateRightNow.com. She's also a war winning author of Journaling Power, How to Create the Happy, Healthy Life You Want to Live and Heal Yourself with Journaling Power. And she's also um, got a new product called Journaling for the Health of It. We just talked about that. And um, let's uh, talk about your book as well. Um, let's talk about your book and um, how you got inspired to start. It all goes back to my journal. It was, I get, as I said before, I get these messages from her that it's, you know, it's time to do this or it's uh, uh, all, all kinds of, uh, as I say, universal messages. And uh, I just really felt that it was time to, to write a book. And then, you know, I uh, went through the whole thing of, yeah, I have a story to tell and I have uh, something to offer and all that type of thing. So she was with me every step of the way as I f- tried to figure out how to write a book and all, all those those types of things. And what I, I was always clear on is that I wanted to write a book that I call a self-help memoir, mm. which is my story. But it, it gives all kinds of exercises and prompts and things uh, to help uh, people get started on their own journaling practice and get it, it had the opportunity to experience it. So it's, you know, it's my story of especially my uh, dealings with the uh, uh, medical profession or, or lack thereof. Uh-huh. And, uh, and I just, uh, and I sh- share that, that, you know, and I think that's, a, it's an eye opening experience that uh, people are, are understanding that uh, journaling can help you with all of your your uh, yourself, uh, and it can help you uh, d- deal with understanding and being your own uh, primary care provider. And that you know you're to, your your doctor is your your partner in in health. So it, like I said, it just uh, but it also it is an opportunity uh, the book for people to get into uh, setting up their own journaling uh, practice. And that's one thing that uh, it's very important to, to say, Mike, in the whole process. There's only one right way to journal, and that is your way. So, you know, if uh, however it it works for, for you in the morning, in the evening, uh, with crayons, doodling, what, whatever, it's totally up to you. So I think that's important to to put it in there, and I think that uh, it's an eye-opening uh, experience that people say, "Oh my gosh, I never knew you could do <laughs> this with journaling." Because people think that you know, either either people think that journaling is you know the the diary and all those types of teenage girl stuff, or or else I think, "Oh, it's just a nice stress reliever, no reliever." But it's like, "Oh no, it's way way more than that. It's it's your connection. It's your." way of connect, reconnecting with your true self and your soul. That was amazing. And what do you, what do you consider your, uh, your favorite chapter in the book and what's probably like the most challenging for you? Um, I, I, th- I think the, the introduction was probably the most uh, challenging because it, it really involved me being, telling my story. And, and I'm not, I've historically not been a very, uh, I'm a very private person, so that was uh, that was the real challenge. Is talking talking about my experiences and how I got into journaling and uh, my my story and, and t- telling about my my whole things about uh, dealing with uh, 
feeling about uh, memories that came up with childhood and things like that. So I, I think that uh, the introduction was a that was the, the big challenge. Mm-hmm. That, so- that sounds amazing as well, too. And uh, where can people find the book? Uh, it is at Amazon. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is, and it's also at uh, in my store at createrightnow.com. And uh, there are uh, volume discounts and there are autographed copies available. So it's uh, either either way going to Amazon. And they, I have to uh, be very proud and, and say that right now, Journaling Power has 125 reviews and about 94 percent five star reviews at amazon so very 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 impressive sounds like you got some great (laughs) feedback out of the book and also journaling for the health of it sounds like you got some great feedback out of them oh definitely yes and like i said it it was really an eye-opening experience for people and it was just so exciting because there were a lot of people that left uh, reviews that said you know i had been uh inconsistent with my journaling or i hadn't done it for a while or, or whatever but it was uh, and in, drilling power was an inspiration for them to get back to the page. So that that was a really uh, that's you know that's what makes my day, Mike. Is when I hear things like that, it's like yes, <laughs> and also something exciting too that you're also a recording artist and you've got um, quite a few releases on here. It's on secondhandsongs.com. You got a baby boomer's Christmas, lady with a song, the very thought of you. That's kind of like an interesting one. Maybe just uh, tell us about some of your releases and you do a lot of covers as well too. Maybe just uh, hit upon uh, some of the covers you like to uh, talk about. Some of your favorites. Uh, yes, well, I, my uh, my one uh, album, the, the Very Thought of You, that's my d- dedication to Barry Manlow, and they're all Barry Manlow songs. He was the one that, uh, when I was uh, uh, just right out of college, I just found uh, I had a breakup with my high school sweet, or excuse me, a college sweetheart, and I turned on the radio when there was a new artist, and his name was Barry Manlow, and he was singing. Mandy and I thought he said Mary, <laughs> <laughs> and that was my very mellow story. So he's he's always been my my inspiration for for music because he, with him he's always said he said it's not about him or his ego or whatever. It's always been about the music and sharing his music with everybody. And that that so that's why I uh, I decided that that was one of the albums I I wanted to to do was just uh. uh a tribute to to him uh and uh, the other uh, songs i just I, I find i'm very eclectic in my uh, songs uh and, and the songs that i i cover i, I definitely love uh, well-written songs from the american songbook and i grew up in the uh the 60s and 70s and that's like that's to me that's real music you know the the simon and garfunkel and mm-hmm. the, the bgs and mm-hmm. air supply and uh, so th- those are what I'm covering. So, but I want to uh, mention that what I'm doing right now is I'm embarking on writing my own very first album of nice. my songs. Yes. Nice. Okay. And, and do you happen to have uh, some ready, or do you feel like uh, maybe um, singing a couple lines or so for us, or is that still in the works? Uh, they're still very much in the work, but uh, I have to say the the one song that I'm almost finished with. Uh, is a poem that I read to Barry Manlow when I met him about 15 years ago. So, and I told him, I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write, convert it into a, a song. And that's what I'm doing. It's, and it's called Since Forever. And uh, people say, well, how did you come up with the title? I said, well, when people ask me, how long have you loved Barry Manlow? And I said, <laughs> well, since forever. That's original. I like that. And you also co- <laughs> you also cover some other ones like Frank Sinatra, Vince Guaraldi, Jose Feliciano, and of course Steve Lawrence, the Beach Boys, Carpenters, and Meatloaf of all people. That's one of my favorites as well too. Dan Fogelberg, Stevie Wonder, just a huge plethora of so much music. I'd like to have you on, and you can uh, do some singing for us next time. Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, one, and one of the things too that. It's really funny, and I I, I work with, with a fantastic uh, vocal uh, teacher. He owns uh, New York Vocal uh, Coaching, and it's all about the body. It's, and he tells, you know, singers, he said, are vocal athletes, and that is what I have experienced. The, the mu- music, my singing, is all in my body. It's, it's not, you know, it's not a head thing. That, that I mean, you have to ha- have the 
uh, the pitch and all the the notes and all that certainly uh, right but this uh, it's all about using all the the muscles the the cells everything that's that's in in your uh, your body and that's what uh, really has uh, uh, moved me forward and I think given me the the confidence to c- combine my two loves of of writing and singing and and do my own album it's it's time i was just going to ask you uh what's a percentage of um the journaling you've done that was involving singing writing an album and everything sounds like you're really passionate about about what what's a percentage you would say when you journaled you talked about you know singing or putting it together an album or music meaning like, like I said, did take them a majority, like maybe fifty percent, seventy five, maybe twenty five, oh. ten, or you know, you know, ju- or just g- give some figure. Is that something you want to keep at or improve or something? Um, I, I, I would say my my journaling has really just been a guide to me uh, and, and and a director. So I'd, I'd say uh, uh, the and the whole idea of uh, time to to write my own album. Would be uh, came up through through my journal, so I'd, I'd say that you know it's, it's like uh, that's what's so exciting about journaling. It's just like you you never know what's what's gonna come up. You're just like, oh okay. And you have journaling is is really good for the aha experiences, and uh, so it, it's just um, uh, like I said, I, I just see journaling as a as a, a conduit, a a practice, a a help that that's really uh, helped me get uh, directed towards writing uh, writing songs. Mm, that is amazing, too. And uh, we just have a few minutes left with uh, Mary McCarthy. Uh, you've been fantastic, Mary. I'd like to have you back on soon. I'd especially like to hear you sing off your new album. Who do you consider biggest influence in your uh, writing career? Mm, that's an interesting. And uh, after that, you can get the singing. Uh, I, I say in... In my writing career, I would I would say it would it would be Julia Cameron's and the morning pages that that got me into the the, the journaling. I, I'd say that she would be my my biggest uh, 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 influence on on writing. And then you know once I got into the the journal, I'd say that be, the close second would be the journal herself. So. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, uh, biggest influence in uh, your singing career. Oh, definitely Barry Manlow. Great. Yes. Okay. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Uh, the best advice is to grab a pen, grab a notebook, uh, sit down with uh, your journal, and ask it a question, and just start writing. That's the, that's the best way to get into journaling and just start healing, growing, and transforming your life. That is amazing, too. And Mary, just want to say a big thank you for your time. Looking forward to having you again soon. You've been very fantastic and inspirational. I'm going to sit down and start journaling as well, too. Maybe come up with a song or two and uh, let to have it back on to uh, do some of your new album and maybe do some songs. And before we do that, once again, tell us your upcoming projects, your website, how do they contact you, and where can they uh, purchase a book, and how can they find uh, journaling for the health of it, and also uh, where can they find your music? I would say to answer the answer to all your questions, uh, Mike, is createrightnow.com. And that has you know everything, like I said, we'll show you where to get books, how to get started with journaling for the health of it. Uh, I have in my store probably about 20 some different journaling courses, which are you know, uh, workbooks on how to uh, deal with loving your body empowering yourself, any aspects of uh, the, the slings and arrows that we need to, to deal with in, in life. So it's just like a Create Right Now is a, is a spot for anything uh, regarding journaling for the health of it. That is amazing, too. And uh, Mary, just want to say a big thank you for your time. Looking forward to having you on again soon. You've been fantastic. And please do us a favor. Keep us up to date and love you. Have you back on again. Um, do some singing for us. Oh, that sounds great. Thank you so much for the invitation, Mike. Thank you.
Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Listen online at themikewagnershow.com and on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And watch the interview on YouTube. Also, become a sponsor of the program and or donate today at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again tomorrow for another episode of the Mike Wagner Show.